the discussion is now going to be about the ternary operator by the word ternary binary is two ternary means three that means there are three things in this particular operator before we get into a theoretical discussion the easiest way to understand the working of a ternary operator is through an example so what i have done is i have written a piece of code here n1 is 50 n2 is 10 and the third variable called as small which is not given any initial value what i have done is i have said small is assigned n1 less than n2 question mark n1 colon n2 so this is actually the ternary operator the question mark colon so what this does is it checks whether n1 is less than n2 so is 50 less than 10 it can be true or it can be false so in case the condition is true the value of n1 will go to small in case the condition is false the value of n2 will go to small so here n1 happens to be 50 n2 happens to be 10 is 50 less than 10 it is false so it will go to n2 so n2 will get assigned to small n2 happens to be 10 so when i print smallest is percentage d small it's going to print the value 10 on the output so this is the working of a ternary operator now if you look at all of these three components n1 less than n2 which is in the bracket is the first expression then n1 n1 this one okay this is also an expression this is the second expression then n2 this is the third expression between the expressions you have question mark and colon now there's a few important things to understand first let's try to redefine what is an expression in a programming language an expression is a combination of zero or more constants simply variables operators and functions in that programming language which is evaluated following the rules of precedence and associativity and finally it should lead to a single value so when this entire thing is evaluated it leads to a single value even when this is evaluated it leads to a single value this can be true or it can be false similarly this is just a single value this is also a single value so each of this component is known as an expression in c the result of this must always be boolean it must be true or false if this result happens to be true then the evaluation of expression 2 takes place and the result of this goes into small if the evaluation of the boolean expression leads to a false condition expression 3 is evaluated and the result of expression 3 gets assigned to small as in this case where n2 is assigned to small so you need to understand that the ternary operator requires three arguments or operands so each one of them is an operand or three arguments now suppose i want to check using a ternary operator that if the basic is greater than 10000 then i want to say the tax is 0 0.10 or the tax at other case is 0 0.05 so here what i'm trying to say is if the basic salary is greater than 10000 then the tax is only 0 0.10 that is 0 0.10 that is 10 percent otherwise the tax is 5 percent of the basic now you may have noticed i have put parenthesis in at least this place and this place it's important even here i have put parenthesis parenthesis is required because i have used assignment operator here the priority of assignment is lower than that of the ternary operator so if you forget to put the parenthesis it is not correct because the ternary operator will try to get itself evaluated before the assignment can happen so you have to put parenthesis when you're using assignment operator within the ternary operator now this is not very very commonly used the reason being that it makes the code difficult to read or maintain for the end user that's why ternary operator conceptually is important to understand but it is not very widely used the reason being it makes code hard to read and maintain